My name is Jordan and I'm a quality assurance engineer here at Wenco International Mining Systems. Today I'm going to give you a short demonstration on how you could use MineVision playbacks to view activity in your mine. Playbacks allow you to view snapshots of mine activity for a specific time period. Playbacks use historical data to create a map showing the mine as it was during the selected day or shift. You can use these playbacks to your benefit to review where equipment was digging, review where dumps were made, examine equipment positions, and even display important OEM events as they occurred across the mine. To view the available playbacks, select Database and then Playback Query. Here you will see the list of playbacks you could choose from. Let's start with a new Dig playback. In the following window, we can configure the settings for our playback. First, we must select the time period. The following checkbox allows you to load the playback to a new real-time window. This is a window where the current positions and movements of the mine equipment is shown in real-time. In the next window, we can set equipment restrictions. Here we can choose to exclude certain equipment from our playback. In the next window, we can choose to only allow dig locations that include certain material to be shown. In the final window, we can set location restrictions. This is so we could specify which location to show in our playback. Once we're happy with our configuration, we can click OK to generate the playback. As you can see, our playback is opened in a new window. The digs during this time period are shown as squares on the map. You now have the option of saving your playback by clicking Database, Playback Query, and then Save Playback Map. Let's demonstrate another playback. This time, let's do a position playback. Just like the dig playback, you are given a variety of configuration settings. In this window, we can set our date and time for our new playback, as well as our map creation options. Let's choose Load Playback Map to a new real-time window. If we wanted to restrict some equipment from this playback, we could do so here. We also have the option to restrict certain statuses from appearing in our playback. This is useful for if you wish to admit equipment that have certain statuses. Just like in the dig playback, we can exclude certain locations. We can also specify materials and hauling start and end location. Let's click OK to generate our playback. As you can see, a history of all the previous locations of our equipment is plotted in our window. This playback can be a useful tool to keep track of your equipment and to see a timeline of where a certain piece of equipment was over a specific time period. I hope this demonstration has given you some ideas of the possibilities and applications of these playbacks. If you have any additional questions regarding this feature, please consult the MindVision help documentation for further instruction.